Are Alejandro Kirk's days as a Blue Jay numbered? A lot of reports are pointing towards yes, so you won't want to miss this breakdown on Jay's Digest. What's up, Jays fans? I'm your host, Peter Brionis, alongside co-host Nick Goss, and some juicy rumors today around Alejandro Kirk, so you won't want to miss what we have planned for this episode today. But before we get started, we just want to remind you that we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. 1K! We're almost there. We're growing at an unbelievable rate right now, but a lot of you that are watching this video are not subscribed, and that's got to change. Yeah. 90.2% of you guys aren't subscribed. And obviously, that number has been going down. More and more of you have been subscribing. And we're already approaching 900 subs, and um, which is insane because it feels like just yesterday. And realistically, just yesterday, we were at 800 subs. So the growth has been insane. We want to thank you for that. Uh, Continue to hit the subscribe button, and we got you with the daily content. And uh, go have a look. And if you're not subbed and you enjoy what we do, hit the button because we're going to hit 1K soon. Maybe uh, sooner than we originally thought we were going to do. But... We have a uh, we have a crazy video to get into, so let's just uh, let's just break down the report here. So an article was posted by the Athletic, um, and basically this was a uh, kind of like a Q and A between Jays beat reporters, um, writers, etc. Question was asked of the three catchers who is most likely to be traded in your opinion. Now me and you, Peter, have had lots of conversations about that, um, but let's just see what they had to say. They said Alejandro Kirk seems the most likely because he is the prime sell high candidate after an All Star season. Danny Jensen is a candidate too, but perhaps unlikelier, only because he's just got two more years of team control and has a growing injury history. And then Gabby Moreno is the wild card because including him maximizes the return, but is only happening um, probably in a blockbuster type deal. So this gives some good insight because our question has finally been answered to a degree um, about the opinion of, uh, of the big question, which was, you know, you're on kind of the train of the Danny Jensen, Gabby, and I've been preaching that I think Kirk is going to be the one to trade. So before we, you know, break down the report some more, what are your initial reactions to that um, that report? I don't love it. I really don't love it. And I think it'll be a huge mistake if the Toronto Blue Jays get rid of Alejandro Kirk. He's only 23 years old. He's about to turn 24. He has years of team control left. And the guy is just a pure hitter. He's You, you don't see that with catchers nowadays. I And the most important thing is that he's boys with Alec Manoa. He is, he's his number one catcher. He's his personal catcher, if you want to call it. And I don't want to break up that battery. It would just be a catastrophe, in my opinion. You, you want to keep Alec Manoa happy. You keep Alejandro Kirk. End of story. Yeah, you kind of know how I stand on this whole uh, this train. I've been Not that I really want to see Kirk go, but I think that he might be, uh, I like, like the article said, as I'll pop it up one here, a prime sell high candidate um i think the reason for that is because obviously you know the things you said are true he is manoa's personal catcher which i think is a huge thing that not many people are talking about because how comfortable is he with danny jansen because he would probably turn into danny jansen's personal catcher then if kirk left um alongside you know kirk he's there's some question marks about his health going forward and regarding especially regarding playing lots of catching um catching lots of games as opposed to being dh so He came off of a career season, but to your point, he's been hitting in the MLB since he came up. So I don't think it was just a fluke sell high season necessarily, but I think that it might, uh, might be a decent time to, uh, to trade him. If you can get someone who is, um, of equal or a higher value. I see the argument. I definitely see the other side of the argument where you do trade him and you maximize whatever value you have. I mean, like I said, he's 23, he's uh, an all-star one of the best catchers in the major leagues and years of team control. So if you trade for Alejandro Kirk, you have him for another three years minimum. And that's just, uh, that's very enticing to teams. But I, I don't think they're a better team without him. I still think you can get a lot of value from Danny Jansen. They're saying Kirk is a sell high type player, but I think Danny Jansen is the same. He just had an unbelievable season, although he was, hurt for half of it he was hitting for so much power he was showing what he can do defensively he's a leader out there on the field i think danny jansen has a lot more value than these writers are are giving him yeah and that's the question is how much other teams value danny jansen because obviously danny jansen's older he's been in the league longer um he's more experienced especially when it comes to calling games 
as opposed to the other two catchers. But again, he's been a bit injury prone uh, recently, which is could hurt his value. And obviously, Alejandro Kirk has much more value than Danny Jansen, um, both because of you know Kirk's pure hitting ability, but as long as his as well as his age, his age has been a big thing there. But it really comes down to what you can get for Danny Jansen. If these writers have any sort of intel, which I'm sure they do, I'm sure they must know that um, Kirk has, I guess, maybe Danny Jansen's market isn't as big as we might think, um, which could be a huge issue. And the Gabby Moreno thing, that's not really news. I think we've been along, uh, we've kind of been, a, you know, we're saying the same thing as them. Really only trade Gabby if it's in a blockbuster type deal for another star player, um, which we might be breaking down in tomorrow's video. A, a player that uh maybe we can give up gabby for we won't we won't uh, say any more about that but yeah i don't know it's uh, like i think kirk's gonna be gone and it's seeming to point towards that as well obviously to your dismay but my question would be what kind of package we'd be able to get for him if uh if we just assume that he's uh if he's going well it better be something good because he's a he's a star player and even though he doesn't look like a star player he's uh he's what you want in a catcher you know he he's calm behind the plate He's a good hitter, you know. He, he commands uh, he commands the strike zone well, and it, he's just a perfect fit on this team. And he blends well with the guys. I think he has a ton of value. I think you could definitely get a uh, a top of the line starter for him, uh, or even address a, a position of need like the corner outfield. If you are looking to trade either Lourdes Gurriel or Teoscar Hernandez, or even a shortstop, you know. I think you could get a really good player of value, if not even two, for Alejandro Kirk. He's that valuable. Yeah, I'd agree. And that that's the benefit in trading Kirk, um, or a Moreno, I guess, for that matter. I think um I, I think they're gonna keep Moreno. Um uh, it's I don't know, unless something crazy comes up, but like realistically, what is the value difference between Moreno and Kirk? You'd assume Moreno might have a little more, because obviously he's a top prospect in the MLB, but you really don't know, so you would think that any trade that a team is willing to give up their star pitcher for, for example, that they'd be willing to do it for Gabby or Kirk. I feel like they have kind of a similar value. So it's then at that point, it's just a matter of who the Jays would rather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I th yeah, go ahead. yeah, I think, yeah, I think Gabby Moreno has uh, more value yeah. just, just because of how athletic he is yeah. and he's very versatile too. So yes, he's a primary catcher, but he showed later on in the season that he could play third base to play in the outfield. He played pretty much everywhere around the diamond uh, in the minor leagues as well. So that's that's very rare as well for a catcher. He runs super well, which is also super rare. And he, he's a blue chip prospect, one of the top uh, trade pieces, not only for the Blue Jays, but in the entire major leagues right now. So, yeah, I agreed there. And so it kind of gives you the thought of if they get an offer from a team for Alejandro Kirk um, for a star pitcher or whatever, they could probably just offer up Gabby and get the same, it, probably more. So it's really a matter of who they would rather trade between those two in a hypothetical situation. Like I said, a video tomorrow will be uh, probably more in depth regarding potential trades. Um, but it, it really just comes down to who the Blue Jays value more because they're gonna they can get a similar piece for for either more from Moreno. You'd you'd presume and realistically no. Um, so then at that point, it's just a matter of who would the Blue Jays front office rather give away. And it seems that they're leaning towards Kirk. And honestly, I don't blame them. If if they need to give up one of Kirk or Moreno to improve this team drastically and they can't do it by a free agency, then I feel like I'd rather take the upside in Moreno. Even if it's just for the fact that Moreno has, first of all, he has a cannon of an arm and he can move to, into mm -hmm. different positions, which leaves you a lot more flexible and leaves DH spot much more open. And another thing that I want to add is if a team does trade for a catcher, it's done in the offseason. They never trade for a catcher midseason unless it's the Houston Astros that traded for Christian Vasquez uh, this uh, this trade deadline, this past trade deadline. But yeah, you always trade for a catcher in the offseason because you want him to be able to gel with the pitchers and really get to know his pitching staff. So if a trade is going to happen for a Blue Jays catcher, it's going to happen in the next couple of months. It's not going to happen during the season. It's going to happen in this off season. And I'm not sure who they're going to trade. It might be Kirk. It might be Moreno. It might be Danny Jansen, but you could trade either one of them because they all have value and they could all bring you back something good that you need. So it, it's a good problem to have. Yeah. It, uh, 
That's a very good point, actually. Yeah. So like any trade that's going to be done will almost surely be done within the next, like you said, couple of months, which is while the speculating is going on now as uh, game three of the World Series is taking place shortly tonight. But I don't know who it's really tough. And maybe this article, it gave it a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of validation towards what I've been thinking, which is uh, that Alejandro Kirk is going to go. And they seem to think that Alejandro Kirk is the one. And that's multiple Blue Jays reporters who kind of came together for this article. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening. Um, again, I'm pretty high on Gabby, so I would not mind to see him. I would hate to see him trade to another team and just see him turn into a top two catcher in the MLB. But Probably what's going to happen. <laughs> right. But it also depends on who we get back. If we got back someone, you know, a star pitcher, well, again, we'll delve into that tomorrow. But, yeah, that's probably going to wrap it up for the video. I'm, I'm excited to see who, who we do trade. I'm also excited for 1K subs, which we're very close to. So support's we're been unreal. There. Yeah, support's been unreal. Who knows how soon we'll hit it. As of now, we're at like 860 or 850 as of recording this video. And um, I don't know. Support's been unbelievable. My lighting will be a bit better for tomorrow's video if you're still you're still tuning in. Because I'm a bit dark on uh, the light's not really uh, picking it up. But it definitely beats the setup I got over here. That's that's for sure. You're, exactly. you're killing it, Nick. You're killing it. And you guys are killing it too. Uh, keep hitting the like button and keep commenting. We're getting a lot of comments on you know content that you guys want to see. So we'll definitely be doing that. Sure, let us know what you want to see and uh it's just been a blast uploading daily with nick it's been super fun ride and can't wait till tomorrow peace see you then